Hello and welcome to a great cryptocurrency technical analysis video that I have for you today where I'm going to be covering how I have and am still trading Bitcoin uh, with a key focus on the support and resistance levels that I'm currently trading from uh, and I'm also going to be ending the video with a little bit of a rage to keep those trolls and haters happy so a little bit of everything for uh, you all today uh, it's going to be very educational and beneficial I'm sure uh, if you put in the time to watch this video so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy it and uh, let's concentrate first on this last impulsive leg that we've had up okay because this has obviously been a very quick rise to the upside okay unlike here where we were back testing resistances as support resistances as support this has just been a very quick rise indeed okay uh, so let's go over some of the reasons for this obviously this has been over the last few days uh, all in my opinion stemming from that falling wedge that we had okay so this was obviously posted in the time on twitter that you know very nice falling wedge that you had indeed um and this is the thing on cryptocurrency they generally don't trade so perfectly there's always normally a fake out so this was just like a remember the date kind of pattern because that was a you know perfect falling wedge that actually played out there so very nice indeed okay and then that brung, brung us to uh you know this like 9200 level where we got rejected and as i was saying yesterday uh, if you watch some of my updates then uh you know we had this like bullish cup and handle okay along with a bullish harmonic pattern or not necessarily a bullish harmonic but here we get you know we're looking for around this 9450 9500 region uh for that harmonic uh as well as what my what my favorite is at the moment is the fibonacci channel here the way that this went so perfectly from the high to the low which we know was the 618 retracement up to the 1618 extension down to the 66 support to the dollar to the dollar and as i wrote to my group yesterday back up to the 1.618 you know i was long and i was saying you know i'm expecting this to go up to the 1.618 extension as long as we hold the dot 382 fibonacci support which we did hold okay um so that was very nice indeed and i think i have this oh yeah so this is yeah i've just removed some of those other levels and just not clutter it up basically but you can see here how we come up to the 1618 come back and to the dollar to the dollar held the dot six six and then we move up again you know kind of as i <laughs> pretty much as i predicted back up to the 1618 we actually came back up to that 1.618 again to the exact dollar which had confluence with the two to two extension from low to high to low and that's like really strong confluence so you can see the resistance that we're holding now okay that's clearly that 1618 extension and two to two and this is what i mean by the kind of patterns that I post, you're not going to see anywhere else. I can guarantee some of the patterns I've been trading, you are not going to see from another person 100% guaranteed because I put in the work that many others don't. Um, but anyway, uh, that's referring to some of the comments I've received. But um, yeah, so then that, you know, that led us up to that rise uh, alongside, okay, alongside, this is where it's going to get a little bit interesting for you, okay? And I'm going to refer to a post that was made yesterday of trading is not all about technical analysis okay and i want to refer to a quote that was posted by a member here okay um and it says uh, this is from a, a trading book i presume but uh the uh the secret to market success is anticipating the anticipations of others okay uh, and funnily enough this is a post that i then put this was put in the group yesterday okay before the rise um you know i think everyone is wanting to buy in lower okay so i i feel in my opinion that there were a lot of people that missed out on this rise okay maybe bulls themselves but have missed out waiting for lower prices and were sat on the sidelines thinking it's going to drop down lower okay along with the fact that we had a swing failure pattern and and shorts got really aggressive on it okay so i'm going to zoom in here and explain this that we obviously had this swing failure of the high here okay this swing failure also on this high led to a drop in price and i feel that bull um sorry bears yesterday got very aggressive onto the short side okay so there was the opportunity as wrote here uh, you know good for another wave upwards so you know i was positioned to the long side not just off the technical analysis which i felt was good okay but also from just like this anticipating what others are thinking and when you have a feel for the market and you have a general sense that you kind of can feel from the charts what the average trader is going to be doing you want to do the opposite because as i've said many times 95 percent of traders lose money um that's a hard cold fact okay just a fact the average trader is losing money so you do not want to be on the side of the trade of the average person because average joe is going to lose okay you want to win um sorry but trading is all about winning and losing okay so just a hard cold fact maybe many people watching this video even took losses but that's kind of you know a natural step of, of learning i suppose but you know that was my viewpoint yesterday that um you know there was technical reasons why we would push up here as well as people positioned short from a swing failure as well as people waiting to buy in lower uh you know it was just perfect it was just perfect for the rise okay and the right well i suppose the rise is what we got and i want to cover now um 
actually f first post and then I'll cover the uh, a, another resistance that we're reaching but uh, this made me actually no I'll cover that in a second I want to go over this resistance another one that we're reaching and this is why I, myself although long have taken profits at this level on my long because I feel that we're at a very crucial high time frame level here um, and it's going to be this okay the weekly that we are approaching Okay, obviously being about 9,500, okay? So it's 9,500. So it's a very big level. You have to think as well, the funding is extremely high. Uh, don't get me wrong. I am uh, bullish on Bitcoin, okay? So I am uh, bullish on Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, and I have been actually for, for a few months now. So I've uh, participated in all of this rise uh, from specifically spot holdings. But, you know, very nice indeed, I suppose. But... Um, I do, although bullish on the higher term time frame here, we are reaching a massive area of resistance. Okay, so if we, you know, it's just it's just a massive area of resistance. So taking profits at this moment in time is is so crucial. Um, you know, the the worst scenario I suppose that you do just come come down from here because you have to respect the resistance that you're at. Okay, obviously what we would like to do is put in another higher low, for example, wherever that could be. And move up again but this is a crucially high important level okay for me so i have taken profits i'll be transparent with that i'm long but i've taken profits here uh you know should we break down on higher volume i will look for shorts okay so i'm open to shorts from this level not in one at the moment um you know I'm, yeah i'm not in one at the moment but you know i kind of want to you know not gonna short until i actually see a full sign needing to short okay that's my viewpoint now for the for at this level okay and you know that's well that's how it is so 9500 for me very very key resistance okay obviously we have come up to around the the target for this cipher as well uh as opposed to my group yesterday and uh yeah that was very nice indeed so i suppose um you know yeah it's, it's, it's difficult don't, don't, you know i just want to highlight really that resistance that we're at it's very very key if you actually claim 9500 i i really believe that we're going to be running 10,500 next um you know that's a that's a quick you know thousand or i suppose you have 10,000 psychological but really you'd be looking for <clears throat> 10,500 11k onwards if you fall down at this level okay so we have to always be aware there's no hard uh certainties there's never a hundred percent certainty in trading it's all about probabilities i had a question yesterday uh on twitter uh i'll try and find it very quickly because i found it very interesting I had a question yesterday or, or from somebody on twitter um yeah here it was you know i <clears throat> you know i was saying posting on twitter obviously about that falling wedge into the bullish cup and handle you know expecting higher prices and some, you know, guy, guy asked me, you know, is it possible that we maybe go down to nine, eight thousand two hundred in range? I said, of course it's possible. Everything in, in trading is possible, but is it the most probable? Okay, and that was a nice reply. But um, you know, that's the thing that you have to ask yourself before you take every trade. You know, it's absolutely possible that we went down to eight thousand two hundred, but is that the most probable at the moment in time? Looking at the volume, looking at the open interest, looking at the order book, you know, looking at these stats. Uh, looking at the patterns that were on the chart, you know, playing into you that are, that are clearly bullish, is it the most probable that you fall from there? Okay, thinking as well as, you know, thinking that a lot of people have got aggressive on the short side, thinking that people are waiting to buy in. Okay, that's the sort of scenarios you have to be thinking of, of is it the most probable? Okay, and I would say at the moment, uh, you know, actually the, the likelihood after this last rise, okay, so you have to remember that was like uh, from, the, from the low there, that was even a rise of 6% in a day, so it's just been crazy, two two days up 15%, so you know, this is an extreme high, so obviously the higher they go, the less probable there is that you keep just going straight up, because you have to expect pullbacks and retracements, because you know that's 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 healthy market movements you want to see the pullbacks you don't really want to just see going up and up and up and up so um you know that's why hence why i've taken profits trading a bit more cautious to the long side but um you know um yeah i that, that's basically what i'm looking at and now i'd like to just go over some of the troll uh comments a little bit of a, a rant i suppose but also made me laugh a lot so yesterday i was saying to the group long look long and strong <laughs> you know i've posted all the technical analysis reasons why uh, looking for around this 9,500. By the way, we hit around 9,450. Uh, so that was very nice indeed, I suppose. Um, but then, you know, this is the sort of thing that just grinds my gears ish okay i now have to just find it funny but uh this was a out of context post that uh, some troll had taken. I'll, 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 I'll let you hear this. I'll let you hear this because I found it did find it quite funny actually. Funny, 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 so someone has taken an out of context post of me saying. 
if you just randomly follow my calls, uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. You cannot just randomly follow me. Even on, the, on this video, I'll openly say, if you just randomly do something of what I say in a video, you're going to lose money because that's not how you trade. You want to learn, learn from what I'm teaching you, not just randomly buy and sell because I'm saying I'm bullish, I'm bearish. That is the disaster of losing money. The same as if you just follow anyone randomly, you're going to lose money. But this is the thing right now on Twitter. You know, why, why is this guy taking my photos and creating accounts? I have no idea, to be honest, but has too much time on his hands uh but yeah funnily enough if you did follow me yesterday you did make money so mm. <laughs> um but yeah not financial advice obviously uh but yeah i just found that absolutely hilarious that this person has so much time on his hands uh but yeah made money on that not long yesterday and uh another little bit of a dig at from the haters is the fact that uh yeah yesterday two trades 1.3 bitcoin profits uh i don't think uh many uh trolls are going to be making that and th this is the thing you know i started out so humble and really like really nice on twitter but you know it gets to a point where i feel that like every single post that i do now on twitter especially twitter is just it's so toxic every post i do gets some sort of troll comment i have people making twitter accounts to troll me specifically uh you know i have just on top of the threats and including death threats that I've received, it's just becoming absolutely, I, I just give it much less importance. And, you know, then after this comment, you know, I, I did so, to read some of the nice comments, by the way, you can like pause and read, you know, people are loving the content that I make. And I fully appreciate that. I fully, fully, fully appreciate that. But, um, you know, it does also feel like at the same time, my work isn't appreciated when I pu pu post it publicly. You know, on YouTube, um, you know, there are some nice people, but generally I don't get much interaction on YouTube. On Twitter, I just get f so much trolls. So naturally, um, me becoming humble on these platforms is, is going down because I just view Twitter and YouTube not so much seriously anymore because it's just like, why do I waste my time putting in content like I am here for free, for free, giving out content, giving out very useful information uh, to people for people to not really appreciate what I'm doing. Um, yeah, because I've received people saying, oh, Daniel, why are you posting this? This isn't humble. I'm just thinking, I posted this after seeing some guy make, um, you know, this is another thing that people have been like saying to, to members of my group, just like, wow, like after all of this, you know, while, while we continue to make money, this is the thing, we are still making money, but, uh, you know, obviously the trolls are, are I guess, just are mad because they lose money. But, um, you know, after receiving troll comment, troll comment, troll comment, troll comment, I respond once and then suddenly I'm not humble. I mean, what do you think? You know, I, I, that's all I'm saying. I'm really, really sorry to end on this this uh, note. And I'm sure many people have turned off uh, <laughs> because I finished the technical analysis and that's what you're here for. But, um, you know, I appreciate that. But I also feel like sometimes I just like, like to get this out. Um, you know, the amount of people that are saying that, you know, supposedly I'm taking content from other people. It's just an absolute joke. The the charts and content that I produce, you are 100% not going to see anywhere else because it's my original content. And I trade off of methods that people don't do, uh, as well as just some of the ridiculous comments I've received, like, uh, I don't know, making up some that I'm like swimming teachers, making up that are, I don't know, just making up so many random things, as well as just, I don't know, it's just unreal, some of the stuff I've received. And um, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. And uh, this is why, for example, I put some of my stuff behind to members only because there's no need for me anymore. I just don't feel the need to openly give out everything for free anymore on, on, on Twitter and, and YouTube, to be honest. And that's why, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, I gave out to my members um, as to why the case of BT Bitcoin was bottom was in. I gave out a thoroughly thoroughly big case with over 30 different technical analysis tools that I'm sure many people have never even heard of, um, of why I believe the bottom was in on Bitcoin and how I was trading it. Uh, and that was obviously, uh, yeah, a, a good month ago. So uh, that's all gone very well indeed. But, you know, this is the this is partially the reason why I've been losing a little bit of interest with YouTube and Twitter. And, I, and that makes me sad because I love it. I absolutely love it. But at the same point, um, I just feel like there's not enough appreciation. I don't know. It's, it's hard. And I don't want that to be, come across the wrong way either. But uh, because I know many, many, many people do. And I also know that it's it's not necessarily that the people that speak are the trolls. And the people that love my content aren't the ones speaking. Oh, this was another this was another harmonic that I uh, was trading off of yesterday. So another one indeed. Uh, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's all I wanted to end with. I, I do, I want to end by giving an apology of my own, I suppose, of saying, you know, I'm sorry for some of the things that I've been posting on Twitter recently. Some of the little Saki comments, another Saki comment that I received uh, was that I unfollowed everyone on Twitter. Um, 
and uh, yeah, just just things of just these sort of psyche comments that I've been doing. I apologize for that, but you know, honestly, the trolls it builds up after a while. It really, really does, especially with some of the personal comments I've received. Um, you know, it builds up, and um, I apologize for you know maybe uh, not being humble. Um, but I feel that I totally, totally, totally am. And I think if you saw the side of me that I am like every day in the group, okay, then people uh, can see the, you know, the, what I'm doing. So uh, I think it's just like the, the Twitter side of me is a little bit of, uh, I just love now on Twitter just to, you know, post, post like this. Like, I, I kind of just love doing the post like, yeah. You know, people are trolling me, but here I am making so much. Yeah, uh, you know, who knows? Uh, I'm going to wrap up the technical analysis video there. I suppose I'll just end with the last few words. Uh, uh, an apology on my behalf. Hope that you understand. I'm still the same guys when I started. It's just, um, yeah, lately the trolls have been getting to me a little bit, I suppose. But, you know, that's part of uh, success. If you tell me honest, that is part of success and it's natural and it's going to occur. But, uh, you know, it's something I have still come in a bit accustomed to. But, um yeah, uh, looking at this uh, really 9,500 resistance level. So if we claim that, then I see we, we can move up very strongly indeed. But until that's claimed, it is resistance. So let's trade it sensibly. And, and you know, until that happens. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I, I, I really, 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 really do hope that you have enjoyed it. And I apologize greatly for... Um, yeah, I, I guess just the whole situation that's going on at the moment. You know, I, I, I want to be happy and positive on YouTube and still making the great content that I always have. But at the same point, um, you know, it, it's just natural, I suppose. Human human psychology, you know, sorry, I, I just apologize. I, I don't want you to come across the wrong way of any of the stuff I've um, said, basically. Um, so, yeah, thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. Hope that this video has been beneficial for you and I will uh, hopefully catch you in another technical analysis video uh, yeah, soon. Cheers. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.